Hey guys, it's Mag212, and today I'm going to start working on yet another nerf commission. I don't actually have the main blaster right now, but I'm just going to get to work on what I have. This is a package I got in from the commissioner. He sent me some parts so I wouldn't have to go buy them. And this is his Firefly, which is in kind of rough shape, but I've taken out all of the screws so I can take apart the Firefly. And I'm going to be removing all of the internals and sanding the shell down so that the paint job is super smooth. For the long strike barrel he sent me, once you take out the three screws in this blue panel, you can lift that off. And once you take off all of the screws underneath, you can lift the orange piece off and take out your barrel. And then after you undo the screws holding the last blue plate in, you can take that off. And now the barrel is fully disassembled, and I'm just going to sand everything down. Okay, I've taken the internals out of the Firefly, and I went over it with some 320 grit sandpaper, just so when I paint it, I have a really durable paint job. I also went and taped off the magazine that the commissioner sent me, because I'm not going to be painting the top, but I will paint the bottom. In addition to that, I also got the base blaster in today, and the base blaster is a Longshot CS6. Yes, this is actually a Longshot CS6, not a CS12. It has the same terrible performance, but we're going to be fixing it with an Orange Modworks spring. I have opened up the Longshot, and I've taken off the stock. I'm not going to be using this for this modification, so I'll probably just keep it. And I also removed the bipod from the bipod mount. That's as easy as just undoing the three screws right here and pulling the pieces apart. I'm not going to start working on internal modifications quite yet, so I'm just going to take out all of the internal components, and then I'm going to do some shell work. These components and their springs are unnecessary, and they restrict certain functions, so I'm going to be taking them out. Okay, first piece of business is the stock integration. I'm going to be doing this kind of like Drax Night Fury because that's what the commissioner wants. So I'm just going to line up my shells and see kind of where I need to make my cuts. And then I'm going to do that and I should be done. The sheer amount of work that I have put into cutting the shells so that they can fit each other is just amazing. I've spent so much time trying to fit these shells together because the Firefly has a very sleek profile and the Longshot has a much thicker profile, so I had to do some serious shell modifications to get this to work. It looks a little rough now, but I will get that fixed up soon with some epoxy putty and gap filling. I've used my hot glue gun to lay some hot glue down on the edge of the Longshot and then I pasted the Firefly shell onto it, so that's drying now, and it's looking pretty good so far, but it is a little empty, and to make it look a little more traditional, I've taken a piece of the Firefly, and I'm just going to kind of paste that on to make it look a little more like there's a Firefly shell attached. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I'm hoping for the best. I finished almost all the body work for the long shot, and I have filled a lot of the gaps with epoxy putty and then I just sanded that down with 100 grit and then 320 grit so it's super smooth and it'll look really nice once I paint it. I've also glued this piece on. I'm going to put some epoxy putty here just to smoothen out the gap. I did accidentally cut more material from the Firefly that I wanted to leaving me with this large gap so I filled that with epoxy putty after I glued a piece of polycarbonate to the inside. I just glued that in so I didn't have to use as much epoxy putty as I would have. I've also started working on the foregrip for the long shot because the commissioner wants a shotgun foregrip, but I think it looks very good and it's pretty comfortable, so I'm going to start mounting it onto the long shot. Okay, so a couple of updates with the long shot project. I had to make a new foregrip because the one I made out of acrylic actually snapped and broke. So I made one out of polycarbonate and I formed it with my heat gun. I've also bolted this aluminum bar to the foregrip 
and that's how you prime the gun. This metal bar will push back the bolt sled in order to catch and it's attached to the long shot pin which I cut out with my Dremel. So that's working very nicely and it's pretty smooth. I did cut a little slot with my Dremel and that's just so the bolts have something to ride along because these bolts are actually going through and they're what's securing the foregrip. I also decided to saw off the bipod because it just looked a little less clean and I covered it with some clear plastic material and that all looks very good and everything's just about ready so I'm gonna go put down a primer on it and I will reassemble it and show you the final product. I also forgot to mention that I did some internal modifications to the long shot. I filled the breech hole with super glue and then I let that dry and sanded it down so there's no friction with it going in and out. I also replaced the stock components with the orange Modworks components. Those parts include an 8 kilogram spring replacement, the back cap for the plunger tube, and a reinforced catch. I also padded the plunger head and put some electrical tape underneath the o-ring just to enhance the air seal. But that's really it for now guys. I'm going to go lay down a base coat and detail the gun and I'll show it to you when it's done. This is my Nerf long shot for a commission. I'll go over all of the internal modifications, the paint job, and show you it firing. I've basically gone over all of the modifications before but I'll go over them again. Not really a mod but this is a long strike barrel which remains detachable. There's an orange tip on both the long strike barrel and the long shot just for smooth functionality and safety. Also a shotgun foregrip which I'm not going to go over too much and a integrated firefly stock. It looks very nice and it's definitely really comfortable. Like I said before I have a shotgun priming grip so instead of having the bolt handle where you would originally pull the bolt back to prime it you can now pull back the pump and now you're primed and ready to go. And as you can see, once you prime, I also have a LED priming indicator right there. And when you pull the trigger to fire, the priming indicator goes off, so you know you're not loaded. Regarding the internal modifications of the long shot, I replaced most of the parts with an orange Modworks kit. I've also filled the hole in the breech to make it slightly more air efficient and took out the air restrictor. The commissioner didn't really want me to take out the air restrictor, but in a blaster like this, the performance was really bad without the AR removal, so I had to do that. And just to protect everything, now that I've taken out the air restrictor, I put a foam padding on the front of the plunger head. That's pretty much it for internal modifications. I did paint a clip for the commissioner. I actually painted several magazines for the commissioner. I have this uh, 25 dart drum, and I taped off the back so it's still clear and you can see how many darts you have but the rest is painted black. And of course I taped off the top because that just makes it a lot smoother and there's less paint scrape. I also painted a 6 dart magazine and an 18 dart magazine for the commissioner. This is more of a note for the commissioner than anyone else. When you're inserting the magazines into the gun, I find it more helpful to insert it when your priming handle is completely forward. If it's back, I found that there are some problems when you try to stick it in. But once again, just insert clips when the priming handle is in the forward position. So now going over the paint job, this was the gun in my new updated painting tutorial. The base coat was a black vinyl dye spray paint from Duplicolor, and then I have corn red from Citadel, and little rune fang steel accents everywhere. Also in silver sharpie, I have the name Cataclys CS Infinity because that is the name of the blaster and the commissioner wanted me to write it on that. And then in the back, as the commissioner specified, I have a biohazard logo. I cut this out from painter's tape and that was just kind of a stencil. So I laid that on there and put paint on it and then took the tape off and I had a very clean looking logo. And then on top of the paint job to protect it, I used a Duplicolor matte wheel clear coat. Originally, I used this other trim and bumper clear coat paint, but that didn't work very well because the finish was a little sticky on the plastic parts. So that was no problem because I went over the whole thing and applied a Duplicolor matte wheel clear coat. So that's all. Now I'll cut to a firing demonstration. Now it has a very nice kind of rough texture and it's not sticky at all.
So as you can see, the long shot is shooting really well. The shotgun foregrip is really smooth and it feels very comfortable. Overall, I'm just really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks very good and it's very nice. So I hope the commissioner enjoys the gun. I know that I did and I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. But that's it guys. Thanks for watching.